welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we have Massimo Stella here to talk about Caden Live. Massimo, take it away. Okay, before to speak about Caden Live, I would like to celebrate KD, of course, because it's the 25th birthday celebration. And um, to me, this is a, I'm very happy to be here because it's a very important moment in the sense that um, this idea of community, this idea of open source, maybe a source maybe 25 years ago was just not the beginning, but was just not even a dream because it's already moving, but uh, something that was in the mind of someone, and just uh, uh, a starting point. Today, 25 years means that this uh, idea, this project uh, is working pretty well and it's year round to stay and uh, it's uh, it's not just a matter of what it's providing because it's providing fantastic uh, software tools to to help people to be more free and independent and uh, more secure and uh, it's a matter also of culture we are spreading culture with this uh, way to to do what we are doing so i'm very proud to be part of it and uh, i guess that uh, <laughs> it's a very 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 good moment because 25 years means that is really something real something that is not just uh, an idea or something like that is something that is happening so um, i'm here to represent uh, my friends on kdn live because kdn live is a group of friends at the end and uh, as i said before in terms of culture what uh, bond does is um, it's passion because we are doing this for passion to and so this is uh, thinking about passion in today's world is something like uh, like motivation to do anything to me is very important and also the result we get in in time to me now today we are uh, probably the leading software in the open source, source uh, community in terms of video editor and so this is to me is a goal we achieved if it's true because of this passion that is also the same uh, fingerprint in terms of cultural fingerprint that is kd community has so I'm very happy, but before to start to speak about uh, Cadian Live, I would like to portray the story. So someone will tell me that, will tell me that I will already use this video for the last year to have a presentation that is on the site. Okay, I'll admit that uh, I would have the time to um, produce something new for, cele for this celebration, but it was not possible. I was very busy recently and uh, and so I recycled this uh, old video, but it's not very old, just one year ago, because uh, I produced it for last year Academy, means in uh, this time of the year. So it uh, was updated to the version of Kadian Live uh, 2008, so one year, exactly one year ago. So what we do, we play together this video, so we can watch it, we can learn about uh, this uh, experience that uh, Kadian Live is uh, producing since 2000. Two, so it's uh, next year will be 20 years, so 20 years is a great celebration. Two, uh, the first release was all the 2003, and uh, we are here today. So I play this uh, video to um, summarize what's happened uh, uh, up to today, and then after we speak, uh, we try to make uh, uh, the uh, the um, summary the summary of the last year what happened next <music> Kadian Live is a community project which aims to deliver a free and open video editing software application to allow everybody to produce quality content in order to increase the democratization of the media. The application is a graphic interface written in C++ with Qt and KDE libraries for the MLT framework written by Dan Dennity, which relies on FF, MPEG to decode and encode almost all the video and audio formats that are out today and which host effects libraries like Freyor and Moveit for video, and Ladspa and Sox for audio. By following the official documents that we can find on the internet, the project was launched by Jason Wood, who released version 0.2.3 in October 2003. Soon, Live 0.2.4 followed, but the community did not yet exist, and the group was very small. 
the project stopped for two years. Before the end of 2005, Jean-Baptiste Mardell, who heard that the project would be reactivated, offered his help, and in 2006, he signed the post of the new release 0.3 of the program. From this moment on, he became the main reference point for the project. Version 0.4 and 0.5 are soon distributed, but there is an issue. A refactoring of the code is needed to go forward. The program has to be moved from KDE3, which is not compatible with MLT, to KDE4. The rewriting ends in 2008, followed by several new releases, but in 2011, a further migration from KDE4 to KDE5 was needed to allow the program to grow. In 2012, a crowdfunding campaign is launched to fund the operation, and before the end of 2014, the goal is reached. Then finally, in 2015, KDN Live becomes an official KDE application. John Baptiste was invited to Academy to present 10 years of activity. The new perspective is to make the project even bigger. Before the end of the year, the first KDN Live Cafe is announced with the aim of getting more people involved. During this virtual meeting, it immediately became clear that in order to grow, KDN Live needed to be cross-platform. The Windows version was announced and 2016 began with a sprint meeting followed by the new logo and the new site. But as soon as the development of new features started, it was evident that the code for the timeline had to be rewritten because it was too old and no longer fit. Everybody knew that the refactoring could take several months or years, but the community did not lose enthusiasm. In 2018, a new roadmap was written, and in 2019, the refactored code was distributed, although some fine-tuning was still needed. To overcome this, the focus of the community in 2020 has revolved around fixing and improving the program. The result of this is the latest version, 20.08, which delivers stability, several new features, and a new interface with five workspaces. So this is what happened from the beginning of okay, KDN Live to today. What I want to do now, it's today, up to the last year. So what I want to do now, it's update uh, the last, uh, the, I have to do that, what happened in the last year. So starting from uh, um, the end of this video, so um, that, that time last year to today. So to do that, I, um, I show you better because this way up under me you can't see anything for real so i remove my okay and uh, i show you what we publish in the site during this year so mean that after all this work we implement the same track transition we implement a subtitling tool to create the subtitles uh, inside kdn live straight away we we have can edit, you see, there is all the, so I invite you to, to visit the site to check what happened. We revamp the effect completely. We rewrite all the folder, we arrange it, we remove what was not working. We had new filters, for example, in effect, like these padding tools and others. For example, we have the, the, the full support to VR 360 videos, for example, at this point, we have a support for 3D video, means stereoscopic video. And uh, we have a video equalizer and other, effect that are coming actually then in terms of usability with the uh, usability we do the bunch of job in terms of for example on the bin to tag better our clips to make it faster and easier the way to arrange and find them then we implement the way to manage better the tracks by removing and adding fastly track also the way we visualize them uh, you visualize the waveform inside the site and uh, uh, for example, this is very important, the way to archive the project, uh, that archive the project that I will speak about later because mix up with another of the things that uh, we did recently make a really important, uh, important direction to the application that I will tell you later. Then in the following, oh, this actually was the last one, the last thing that we put, this is, uh, no, is that correct? Is it, uh, is the, um, if this was the version we introduced all this stuff within the version of December last year. So then in April we introduced. In April we introduced the speech to text. Speech to text means that now you can edit your interview just by letting the AI, Vosk AI, to collect the, the speech from the 
the video and create a list of text that you can edit straight away on the text form. Then we improve again the usability by inserting the two zoom bars, by inserting the information on, on the bottom bar, by uh, reset the position of guides and other tools that we have on the timeline. We insert, in, introduce the media browser, very interesting object you can just drag and drop from inside the application, browsing the folder and the assets inside the computer. We refine, improve a lot the keyframe panel. And then we insert again other effects in this kind, for example, with this type rider, the alpha strobe, and very important, we insert the effect zone for tracks and for master track to get a result like, uh, you know, you can have with the adjustment layer in Premiere in, or the filler in Avid, so you can just... Then we add the panel for the online resources and other stuff. In most recent versions, the last one, the one of August, we insert the time um, ramp that is actually the keyframe for speed, so you can change speed progressively. And the masking effect, they introduce uh, some important stuff that are to come to, but it's very interesting the way you, to apply the mask. So it's uh, we can uh, use different filters to create the mask and then apply so we can open for example to secondary color correction that we refined recently to have a, a full support for secondary color correction um again always uh, interface usability improvements for example moving the guy together with the footage have the chance to set shortcuts to visualize uh, come on surface some widget that could be hided maybe under other widget same for shortcuts for uh, keyframe functions and uh, now improvement on same track transition and the improvement will come more because we are still working on the same track transition to make it always better a command bar that help us to call every possible command that uh, kdn lab is able to perform through this bar just with Control alt alt i then we have the chance that we in, in, we um, uh, meant that, 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 that we add something to the keyframe even by copying storing so we improve the keyframe situation again also by the importing the motion information we improve also motion information to create uh, uh, stabilization etc and uh, we have the chance for example to rename the guide to the monitor that is something more but actually this is this is not all what we we are doing because what we are doing now in this specific moment is that we are um, we are improving a lot of more stuff i need to collect now a list of things i've written so we are doing the work on the trimming tools now soon we'll see um the two of the four famous streaming tools so means two means uh, we have already ready that i will show you the slip and the ripple so we miss just only the rolling and the slide that are rolling maybe is not so less important slide a little bit less but the main ones slip and and, uh, and ripple are almost ready so we probably out 90 percent on the no, next release for december we still improving the single track transition so they are always getting better also because we have to uh, mix up together with the, the trimming feature to the trimming tools of the this feature we found a fantastic noise reduction for voice that works very well and will be in the next series too we um, have the first uh, scratch of the new arrangement of the audio effects we are working on it uh, a lot because uh, you can compile a bunch of lapstein on my on my machine there are for example 600 <laughs> effects uh, some of them that doesn't work etc so it's a long job i guess that uh, we'll be able to complete uh, soon as soon, <laughs> soon as possible but i don't know i hope for these reasons i'm not so sure but also because this, I don't want to introduce what is the, so I will tell you after why I will slow down. We will slow down with the, with the audio effect. 
But then we have finally implemented the secondary color correction thanks to this new mask system. So we have a very complete secondary color correction. I will show you something during the demonstration. I, I don't know how many time to let the demonstration today because we have a bunch of things to say, but some demonstration it's in my in my list. Um, uh, and then multi-camera environment that is uh, uh, really fully functional is working finally, and uh, we have. Uh, uh, the chance to do not the chance we have the most important news to me on the table i show you i go back again on the site to show you what we post a couple of days ago so i go back here give me one second please that i have to open the page that is here so we have this yes kdn live is finally on macOS we are still on a nightly build that means that we are still testing but it's running and the screenshot you can see here show us that it's possible I already personally tested on some Apple machine on some colleague uh, it will be to me working I hope on uh, for the next version should be out as uh, I was thing before about the audio effects that the problem is that how many of the effects we can compile for Windows or for Mac for example less than what uh, we have on, on Linux in Linux I was able, I'm able to install more than 600 effects some of them that they, they, they don't work so I have to personally to check etc but we also understand uh, you use the other person that uh, that are working on uh, on uh, the packaging for example vincent has to import all these effect inside uh, the windows or the mac os version or even included so we have to check what uh, uh, it's possible to have on, on platform remove what it doesn't work in some platform so it will be a uh, long uh, a long word if you want to rearrange stuff but it, it's coming what is important and uh, it's uh, related to what i said about archiving archive project that uh, being on all the platform means that uh, um, a great improvement in the sense that uh, um, imagine you are working with someone that has not uh, is not using Linux uh, um, and uh, you have to uh, share a project with someone and uh, first of all being cross-platform means that you can suggest people to adopt Kadian Live. So, ah, no, because you're doing using that, but this is a good software, you can use it. Try it. You don't even have to install on Windows because we have a standalone version. And so you can immediately share your project with everybody because the software costs nothing. You have not to even to export a, a ADL or the format. So to, for interoperability, interoperability, you can just install your software inside the machine and this will run your project. And um, secondary, the fact that we can archive the project that I show you because we have this uh, feature will help us. So you can archive just with the proxy. You can, for example, have a machine when it could be online or could be remote, whatever. This is open share. to sharing project remotely and work remotely because you can just save on your remote location the archive project with just the uh, proxies that is they are very small respected the, the original footage so you can share by proxies remotely uh, your project uh, with with uh, whoever is around and you will work with and then we what you can render out just from the place where the assets the original assets are present on the machine so this is a great improvement what i want to wait a moment i have to check because um, some point maybe it now it's uh uh, the time to make this some um, show you something for example i prepared uh, okay now i want to finish speaking about one important thing because uh, because i'm confused what is the better order of how to arrange stuff no i go with the demonstration because i guess that i trigger enough curiosity about what uh, it's really what we are doing so first of all, I show you um, the trimming. So let me just uh, open the, show you the trimming space behind me. Then um, 
I let you watch just what happened in the interface. So this is, uh, for example, now we show you something interesting. It is a new subfolder structure. This is actually a new feature. The new feature, which kind of feature is, you have to know that in, uh, maybe, maybe a bunch of people know already, so I don't know already, so I don't know that, for example, in this is a folder that I produce with uh, my XDCAM. My XDCAM, for example, created for every single clip a folder which contain different object media files and other data that are usable for the camera. So to import also the Zoom recorder, someone told me last time to in the last cafe that has the same problem of following folder. It's true because I have a Zoom, or Zoom recorder, so I have the, the same problem. So now today you can just import the main folder as to Kdn Lab to ignore the folder structure and this happened that you can import straight away all and I'll give you a second because it's full of clip you can import straight away from um, your bin this is of course uh, the as you can recognize the our media browser is written here I would like to switch that anyway, we can do it later I know it's just it's just still importing um, so it's uh, it's possible this way to avoid to import uh, all the single um, folder that are in the in the bin that you want to in the folder you want to import but uh, you can have the folder structure ignored and so you have just the clip inside the folder I don't know what's happening here 45 job okay this is actually I have an excuse for that because this is just a testing proposed application just for trimming so it's just to show you how the trimming works are going so it's not a tested version so I'm not happy that is happening now but I was very trustful about this and okay so maybe we need more time to check if it's able to but it's always works so uh, it's uh, I can show you in a... okay now maybe I have to pass from this to this and move forward with the presentation in a... we have no trimming in that situation so maybe I go back to a trimming later but just to show you how they work and what we are doing uh, so uh, what I can show you from here sorry what I can show you from here is uh, for example, um, uh, the secondary color correction. Secondary color correction. This is a, a big project, actually, that is uh, that we speak about later. So for the moment, I close it. I open new one. Clean. I import some footage from here. So give me one second, please. Okay. I import the footage with my face that I use also for this demonstration. Okay, uh, second record, this is not the best actually picture I can use. Maybe I use another picture because to make a good, uh, to make this one this way is not the best one. We can use that one, for example. This is okay. I would like to avoid proxies now. So I remove the proxy clip. Okay, this one because we have this fantastic sky. So let me play a little bit of the clip and place it in the timeline. No, it's all with the moment. Out. One frame, no, a little bit longer. Okay, then we maybe increase the resolution. So I, here we have a mm, custom effect called call secondary color correction. How does it work? So we pile, so I show you the, how the mask work. We put all together a certain number of effect. We create the secondary color correction tool to select the color of the secondary color correction. We add this uh, alpha operation that allow us to show the mask we create 
of course we can refine the mask by using the tools that we have here that can change for example the hardness of of the mask i can show you we have controls here i don't know why it's asking me to use it at the moment uh, okay we can um, of course change the parameter of the mask to check to make it harder softer to make it more precise now we are looking for uh, sky for example mostly so we have to remove all the of the surface we are not interested in pay attention to sky so I, then i will do a sky for example red just to show you something extreme so you see also the, the clouds are coming out etc so we can control the mask by using the parameter we have inside the the tool i'm very i'm doing very rough then we have the gaussian blur that the blur that i'll pass to make the smoother or the mask for example then we have uh, transparency means how much is it, is it yeah it looks like that we cannot see the color correction ah uh, you what what you, you see you, you, oh People you're right see okay. the screen okay okay is it was stuck second, we... someone's typing okay so uh, see, okay i can see your screen i can see you moving around was stuck no no it's okay okay it's my fault actually because i was okay. stuck on the other screen when the application gets stuck before but Great. we can now we i i can repeat i'm sorry in the meantime no, you're, fine. you're fine um yes okay. there's a question can you start the color correction over from the beginning yeah 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 i'm i'm, I'm very i'm very sorry uh yeah, okay about what happened so i was confused because when i, I didn't was in the pre, the the block i before it really shocked me for a moment i start from scratch again so okay. it's not it's not difficult i'm here we have this fantastic landscape we take the secondary color correction we uh okay now we have this tool piled as you already listened to my text before uh i can repeat fast then so we have this secondary color correction mask that allow us to click and select the color we have the alpha as i saw before that show us the mask we have all the tools to control our mask by increasing the quality we can change the type for example of selection for example this one is smoother this one is different you see um so i let you then decide what you fit the, the operation you're doing um so for example i want to use these uh, parameters to create this mask because i want to call takes for example some clouds some other stuff like that so we decide that this mask is this soften parameter doesn't work exactly on the alpha channel so it's not for other purpose actually is useful but not now we have the gaussian blur to soften our mask then we have the transparency actually that big the transparency of the mask but i will show you later what how it work uh, and we have the apply mask to apply the mask now we have to decide this point which kind of color effect we want to apply inside the object for example we can use curves but you can use whatever you want you can use also for example uh, this one should be one very appreciated by exactly for example you have to put the mask under the color effect of course if you want to you can turn off the alpha operation just to watch the and now our color correction works only in the part we have created with the mask so if i move for example the gammas mean the the, the gray the part the medium part of the you see to red just the sky is changing the color because it's in of course also the leaf that is a more intense light have an impact but of course these are in the medium range so it's more important these are the dark area anyway you can see we have a change of tonality of course when i see before 
about Gaussian blur make a difference also we have step we have the chance as you can see because you change the mask this way and another stuff I can show you is the fact that transparency of the mask change how much effect you apply to your color correction to change the atmosphere for example of this sky so I hope that is uh, okay I don't know I don't read I'm not reading the chat in this moment so I don't know I hope that I fix the problem I created before the multi-camera environment I can show you that is interesting maybe it's I have to create uh, a small timeline with objects so I can do that I can remove this color correction for the moment I can use the same clip that is pretty long for example in a different in, in a different moment I have to add the tracks of course because we okay just video I don't need audio we had two video tracks video two tracks okay I click it okay so I don't care about the audio I just insert another section of video uh, my fault another section of video on top of this then another section of video let it be forward in time here uh, pay more attention here then another section here at this point i can activate my tool like multi-camera tool as you can see now we have uh, the split famous split screen uh with the moment yes okay now at this point we select which is the first image in we want to watch in other video in our video for example we start from here we just have to play and then say for example now i want to go here now i want to go here now i want to go here oh oh, oh, oh sorry my fault this is the big, biggest mistake i have to let sorry all the of course all the tracks uh, activated so sorry it's very important stuff so i decide which is the first one so i move here for example i move here for example i move here for example i move here i move here i move here and so on stop when you go back and you go back to the standard way you have your video edited following what you did of course there is some uh, strange effect here because it was already edited but this is for example how the multicam works so we have a multicam space working correctly and then and then okay the audio don't show you the noise reduction is a pretty easy effect you can just drag and drop on the on the effect stack and it works automatically the improved transition uh, is nothing very you can you'll find when you use it um okay archiving project is pretty easy because when you archive the project you can first um uh, for example, uh, um, clean the project first and then archive in the project. Archive so in project will allow you allow you to uh, archive in the, fo the folder wherever you want, even online, remotely, I already test it. You can archive in only the proxy clip. Uh, so when I will label and compress it. What is interesting of this system is that the um, application, once you uh, have archived the project this way, in the application just watch inside its folder so it's possible to move the folder whatever and to even have this online and share so the project uh, only the project file between machine and help to have always everything synchronized so this is a first implementation of something that could be in the future the idea to work remotely by using KDN live but it's already something now if it's possible show you because actually I 
close the program the version with the, the trimming tools today before i show my face maybe one second now okay so you can see me when, when i'm struggling on the computer so um wait a moment because i i have this uh, stuff in a specific folder this uh, trimming applicate version of the application so i have to go and open it physically okay i try to import again now show you i don't want i want to 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 do it first what i did before maybe the folder was very too big ah i'm out of it I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm almost there. Okay. So now I'm importing. In the meantime, I prepare the... Uh, okay, I'm preparing. You see? Now let me check if it's... Now it at work, the importing. Okay. Oh, he's making all the proxies. Uh, this is what was the problem. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, which concern is working now? Uh, wait a moment. Okay, I just removed the proxies from here because he's making 300 jobs. That was the problem. Okay. Okay. Okay ready to go finally ready to go so i can show you we change here we change here and here my face away okay now now we have this proxy clip i remove the proxy this moment i don't want to use it okay, i take two clips for example I, know, I want to trim before uh, in point out point here out point point in point out point just to have a sequence of the objects in point out point now we see the slip tool the slip tool what uh, allow us to do allow us to do that we can move this clip as you can see the one is you see you see the marker here yellow and blue this is the, the the length of the clip without moving the clip from the timeline we can change the in and out point of the clip you can see it over there by moving the clip without changing its position in the timeline you, you can have some you know synchronization with the music for example you don't want to move it but you like how the in out the, the, the motion inside the now point is working so maybe you have to change it this is a way, way to do it of course you can click and change the clip so refine our and you have also the preview about what is coming before and after so to understand how the, the thing is working the order we have not even have the deck on the other um, tool so it's very you see it's very a testing phase is the for the ripple what happened the ripple when you ripple you just remove the space now i i I'm, i exaggerated we have this still existing bug but we can is we have fixed. i want to show you that we are implementing it's not anything finished yet we go here again to show you without pushing too much what will happen at the end all the active track will be when you drag it you remove the space or extend the space we have also the in out point and you can do of course for example here you have the if you reduce or extend so you reduce you move the in or the out point on one clip all the other clip move accordingly to match the new length this is actually the um, ripple tree mean that it compensate automatically um, all the space that is removed so it's automatically make a compensation 
Once I say all that, I would like to conclude because now I'm ready to conclude because it's already 40 minutes and more that I'm speaking like a crazy person rambling by myself. So what I can say is that um, we're reaching a bunch of goals. Reaching a bunch of goals. For example, recently we are, I was um, I was asked to produce a content for a, a main TV show in Italy, comedy stuff. And uh, I have now time, was it actually? I show you the timeline because I had it open before. Um, it was a complicated object because it was just a minute, but uh, the idea was uh, uh, not super easy. I have time when I make the demo version for, uh, for approval. So I try to test it. And uh, I knew the old, uh, the, what these uh, uh, clips to has the meant to the, the software. So I think that was a good idea to use it. And at the end, we broke it. Well, it uh, some of this clip were broadcasted during the, during the, the, um, during the, the comedy show. So I can show you that if you want to, if you want to um, find out more information about what what happened uh, in uh, sorry that I'm fighting with okay if you want more information about this um, you should go on our site and uh, um, and check one of the latest news that is here it's uh, wait a moment I go on the latest news Okay, one of the latest news that is Kidding Live on TV uh, broadcast money. And so we have the link where to go and check uh, exactly what was broadcasted and in which situation. What I can show you now actually is, uh, oh, is not loading the page, but we don't care because I want to show you now. I want to go back, uh, come back to, to Kidding Live actually. And um, I want to go back to getting live and show you this, but isn't, I don't understand why is not updating. Here is not updated. He has the windows behind me. So let me check. Can I, I can update it. So it don't show me correctly getting live. So I want just to show you the project of this, uh, of this, maybe it's, because of uh, oh no it's correct i don't know why I do, i'm not sh i'm not able anymore to show you my correct background so the application i would like to so uh, it doesn't matter so what's important it's actually that to to complete all this conversation that we have a conversation on uh, um, the chat there's always a conversation with our friends, so we're speaking about someone was complaining that uh, I um, I don't consider KDN a professional software. It's not true. They, they, they told me that it's professional when uh, the software is used for someone to somehow make a wage. So make it, make it. In my profession, I use KDN Live for professional. Some people use it. And I guess it's possible to use it, absolutely. And it's just depending on the situation in terms of what is demanded by the, the field you are in. So I use it for television, it worked. I know that we still miss the nesting that is very important step. And I don't think that we'll have it on December, maybe in April, but it's the very last step to have uh, um, feature pack stuff. We have still some work around some stuff too, but at that point uh, we, you can complain that you miss something, maybe it's, sometimes could be more tricky, but in the time we refine everything and everything with at the same level of uh, proprietary expensive software. What uh, it's my problem with that is that I would like now I would make to give the best application that professional in team of any level can appreciate There are people that still prefer to pay to be sure that they have all the things that they want. So I would like to convince that people that they have not to pay anything because we are ready to fit its needs. So we are close to that. We can go in that direction. 
we already broadcast in uh, television uh, content high quality content in, 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 in a prime time uh, comedy show and we also are accepted so we, they accept uh, okay now it started uh, it started uh, broadcasting uh, but i don't want to show you this anymore uh, about the show i want to show you actually um, if i find uh, okay not this one i want to stop it here and i want to go here because uh, as you can see if i scroll the page i hope that is the page is visible now yes um if i can scroll the page you can see that we are here in the aswf that is uh, um, an association that collects software that are we, that are on, on the target on the spot of uh, on the industry mainstream industry so means hollywood too and you can see there are some uh, important partners and uh, we are in kenyan line so they accept us this is the way to be in the center of attention and to collect maybe support so we are looking for have more support in general in this moment um, because we want to grow um, faster and uh, and better in the ne in the next future so i don't want to tell you that uh, we have on uh, our drawer a bunch of uh, news coming because it's true <laughs> we are rearranging a bunch of stuff and that we want to reach that point that this application could be considered top application so we can compete uh, from to against I can say against I don't like it because it's like a war but we can compete to um, with um, pro, with the proprietary software means that the big four application like uh, Avid like Premiere like Final Cut like the Avenger all I think that we're close to and uh, to me the most important thing I can say that if you are someone who's uh, is a, a junior video editor or you just want to become a video editor so you just start to uh, edit today to me Kenyan Live is the choice you have to do in that sense you need time to grow as editor so Kenyan Live is growing very fast and I show you how much we are fast so how much we are growing by showing the video and what happened in the last year the fact that we are now we are we were able to propose to a I mean broadcaster uh, to work with the software is accepted the fact that we are in this uh, association and that uh, and then under the hood also in terms of community we are uh, changing uh, something important because we want to become faster in developing collecting attention and support so what i can say if you are someone who's learned how to edit today take this in consideration because you have to learn so you have your time to learn in the meantime we are going fast we're growing fast and uh, also the approach of editing is it's his own personality of course Kedian live is not exactly no 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 software is exactly the same on on uh, than the other on another one but i can tell you that when you learn for example video editing if you learn two programs for example in general you when you open another program so you're super fast to learn how to use that one because you know what you need as editor the tool and editor needs what you know what streaming is which of the streaming is what is a multicam space or whatever so you look in a new application where these two are and in for example when i open the first time the davinci resolve the, the editor part i learn how to use it probably in less than half an hour because i already know how to use it with the final cut uh, premiere and uh, lightworks and whatever so it was 20 minutes so what i can say that it's free you have not to crack anything you don't take a bit to use it and then after it will ask you something so you learn something that is free it's yours because it's, you can be part of the community and anyway if you use it you're already part of the community you can even spread uh, the fact that kdn live exists to other people so you can as i told before you can share also the idea to remotely work so you can use the application so to me is the best the best bet you can do by betting on kdn live to become an editor and have a very very efficient tool that can help you to grow uh, professionally and uh, in, 
introduce you to video editing at certain level that you can, if they ask you to use another application, you can learn very easily starting from that point. Um, I can't tell you anything about what is, is coming next in the change of KDN Live because uh, I'm just here to represent the community. So I would like that it is something that uh, when we announce, we're already, uh, I'm already announcing that something is happening, so stay tuned. When this will happen, you will be informed, everybody will be informed, uh, who is inside the community, who every day is uh, connected to us, not connected to us because it's part of the community, so it's part of the community, knows, is informed every day, who want to be informed every day, you just have to be part of the community, entering our channel to communicate communication channel like telegram etc ah one point when i show you the video the community was 360 people now today we are another 130 more so in just one year so we are growing the 30 percent in one year uh, it's very good we have uh, more than 200,000 uh download for version per version in that in, without mac os we see what happened with mac os so we are very happy what I can say to conclude, I'm very happy to be here, to be like speaking about free software because a very important word is that free software and KDE 25 anniversary and it's free, freedom is a key word. So uh, I'm glad that the, you are, will be now to celebrate this moment and to me with Kenyan Live for the moment, it's, uh, I conclude here and I, I wait for you next time, maybe Kidding Live Cafe, another meeting where we can talk straight and be together. Thank you Alizu? so much. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank Are you so here? much. Thank you. So I have a question. Have a question. And there's, I'm some, here. there's some comments coming comments through the chat, coming. but, but the, the question, if you'd like to answer it, is how similar are the Windows and Mac OS versions to the Linux version in terms of features? they should be the same and recently we had also an improvement in that sense um, uh, Vincent started to use craft to pack uh, uh, packing also for windows Eugen together they use this craft at the point they decided to use craft also for the mac version and also for now to create the app image version for linux they use craft so the idea is to synchronize the code inside craft have just a, a different way to compile for the different operating systems so on the paper our idea is to have three exactly three software that works exactly the same way what could be different as you have to consider that a bunch of features are linked to what is called effect because it's actually Effect. Even if you don't see, you don't apply effect, some features are based on effect. What could be different, for example, it's uh, to see, for example, I told you before about the audio specifically, which plugin, in this case, is plugin, so it's different, it's not function, will be, will be able to bring inside all the platform or random. But the idea is that the three version has to work exactly in the same way. This is uh, the point. We'll see if we will be able to do that. I guess so, in my opinion, yes. We see in terms of stability, Mac is still need to, to be tested, even if to me it's... Uh, when I tested the first nightly version more than one month ago, what I found as problem was that it didn't load the frayer filter, but this was fixed recently, that we have not the bar for change the layout, for example, on... Uh, top uh, left uh, right uh, part of the screen but you can use it by through the menu view and um, that uh, uh, I I don't know what happened I don't know it was fixed uh, with the graphic uh, library of Mac I have a problem with the playback on the monitor so if I use uh, the full resolution was smoother than when I reduced the resolution but it's something they they are I know they are working on so we need test on Mac and exactly Windows. It looks like that is going pretty well, and we are at this point at the same level than uh, Linux, I believe. I don't know. I tested it; it looked like good. So I don't know. This is my 
If there is other answer, I'm yet to answer to other questions. Yeah. The There's another the question. question here, Massimo. Okay. What is the best way to donate to help the Caden Live team in terms of hardware, laptops, money, KDEV membership? Okay, this is part of what we are doing in terms of news. So the idea is that is to be very light. So okay. first of all, what the list of things you can do it's starting from using it and report back if you find it. Uh, share the voice proposed to other people that edit the software and tell him exactly and honestly what's about. Because, for example, when I go, when I went to this guy that we're working to for a top society international from a society based in New York, and they have to make a very complex job for the fashion week in London, they even rent. Uh, uh, some uh, computers, uh, top one computers to do this job. Um, so I test the Canadian Live on a top one Mac uh, that they have not even they have the money to buy it, but just rented. And they were interested. When I have the problem with the playback, for example, they I not say they lose interest, but they say we wait uh, when it's uh, ready. Uh, but the guy told me that he will uh, call me back in, uh, in November because he wants to try it anyway, doing his showreel that is nothing professional, just for himself. So he has the time even to fail, but he's interested. So, um, Fred, because if the guy, when we do the showreel, it will be enthusiastic, maybe next time, and we fix the problem with Mac, maybe next time for his own project, start to use it. Is in the field, he will talk with other people. Other people will be encouraged to download it. So people enter and suggest a new feature that they like to have another software, we can do it. So spreading, participating, report bugs, translation, if you need some participate to the manual. Um, if you are able to code, of course, coding. Uh, money could be, of course, a support because we want to start with raising funds at a certain point uh, independently, stay inside KDE associated, being part of the community anyway. We stay always connect to KDE, use always the infrastructure KDE, be KDE part, but we would like to be a little bit more independent in terms of arranging funds. At a certain point, we always try to raise funds to pay piece of code uh, to, to accelerate somehow the process to, to go where we, where we want to go. It's a community. The most important thing is participating at any level, starting from using the software to push the software to other people and to suggest, uh, have suggestions, check bugs, uh, participating, participating, using, and feel that is not, uh, if you're not a, you're a user, you're not alien from the project, like you know, you buy from Adobe and you know if that something doesn't work with a bug, you can post in the community, but nobody will solve that bug. Maybe the bug will be solved in two three version, but you have to pay to update and not today you're not even updated, you just have to pay monthly. But nobody cares about you. Nobody is interested about you, he's interested about your money. We are interested about user and the quality of software and the passion that we create this software. This is a matter of passion, matter of quality, matter of excellence. So participating is being there. What I say always, being there. If you want to help us, being there, participate to the Kidina Cafe, write, uh, be in the, in the chat, uh, use it, uh, and uh, and at a point when we'll be able, oh, before we are able to con collect our um, our donation by ourselves, of course, donate to KD is always, uh, is always the best uh, thing you can do if you want to donate. So that is, uh, that is what I can tell you. So being there. Thanks, Massimo. That is all of the questions we have, but there were quite a few comments coming in saying, you know, thank you, congratulations on the uh, ASWF edition and broadcast use. Um, it's it's great to see how Caden Live is growing. Um, and I hope more people will get involved and just be there, as you said. So that's the point. I, uh, as, I, as I said before in the video, 
that I produced last year. That is a presentation video. The, there are a quoted 300, 40, something like that. Today we are 400 and more than 60, so we are 130 people more on 330. So we have 50% more people than last year. So in total, we have a 30%, we grow of the 30, 50%, but in total, we have uh, one half more than last year. So this is the, the tax of growing. I would like that we could grow even faster, but anyway, uh, I can complain personally because uh, if the ratio is uh, 150 per year, maybe uh, <laughs> it will be some thousand in some year. But I guess everything is expon exponential at a certain point, I guess, so it's just a matter of starting. So we are on our way. Amazing. Well, um, like I said, that, that was another question on Massimo, and I want to thank you again for joining us. It's really thank a pleasure to hear you. Uh, thank you for inviting me to having me. I'm sorry again for the mistake yeah. I did when I get stuck with the it's okay. Nothing. I think I think everyone quickly forgave you. So have a great <laughs> rest you. of your weekend. Have a Thank good rest you. of your day. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Yes, okay. the session was recorded and will be available.